Hello there, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. Today we're gonna make this card and we're gonna do it using the Happy Birthday Gorgeous Stamp Set and Coordinating Die found on page 76 and 77 of our new catalog. The stamp set and die is part of the Foil Frenzy Suite and there's a lot of really fun, amazing products on this page. It's gonna be a pretty straightforward card today. We're just gonna do some two-step stamping on our layer of white, uh, mounted on some basic gray, mounted on some rich razzleberry, and I'm gonna be using a few different colors of ink today, Bermuda Bay, rich razzleberry, and old olive. So I'm gonna get a few little stamps out of this set. In fact, we're gonna be using uh, this two-step set here, this two-step set here, uh, this single leaf, Move my die out of the way. I'm going to open up, <clears throat> excuse me, open up my ink pads, get them all ready, and we're going to get our layer of white out here. And I might zoom in just a little bit, <laughs> partly because so I can get closer to the uh, piece of paper and you won't be able to see my head. This is a scratch paper here that I have because I'm going to do some stamping off. When I do two step stamping, I do like to stamp off some of my images. So, um, and I also like to stamp uh, what I call randomly, so off the edges a little bit. I find that to be a little more aesthetically pleasing. So I'm just going to start off by inking up my uh, large flower in the Bermuda Bay. And I'm not sure if you can see this on this flower, but there's a tiny little tip that's kind of pointing away from me. That's just a guide to help you um, align the images a little bit easier. So when I come in with my bold image, you'll see it also has that little point there. Oops, get my finger out of the way. There's the point. And so I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to stamp it off twice. And then when I hover it over, I kind of know the main direction that I was pointing. I was pointing it that way. So I can point it that way again. And these two-step stamps, you can, it's just so easy to see through them. And I'm stamping off twice. I just thought that that was a little bit, um, the first stamp off, even the second one is a little bit too dark. I really wanted that outline image to show up really well. I'm going to come back in and stamp on this corner now. And I'm just having the uh, flower basically point the same direction. Get these done. I think what I'll do is I'll just speed this up. Okay. So I've got my Bermuda Bay flower stamped on there. I'm going to bring in the two smaller images and I'm going to stamp these in some rich razzleberry. And these also have that little point on them so you can kind of know which direction. And again, I'm going to stamp off twice. And then I find that that third generation image is just perfect for this particular card. All right, flip this over and we'll do this area here. Bring in our second stamp. Got our stamping done here, at least with the flowers. Now I'm going to bring in my small leaf image here and I'm going to use my old olive. And some of these are going to be full strength and some of these are going to be um, stamped off. So like I'd start out, oh, where do I want to start? Let's start here. So that one's full strength and then that one is not. And I can even just do both of them not by stamping off each time. And this is just kind of random. I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just sort of adding flowers and adding leaves and hoping that it looks good. It's a matter of twisting and turning the thing and getting all the leaves and flowers where you want them. Okay, I think that will work for the moment. I need to find a little filler stamp. We're going to try this little guy that we've already used, this um, detailed small one, and I'm just going to stamp it off a couple times and then kind of throw some of those real light ones around. See how that ends up looking. 
I think that'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside and put my ink pads away and I'll be right back. All right, for the next part, we're going to use the die with one of our brand new products in the catalog called the Multipurpose Adhesive Sheets. These are going to be the sliced bread of die cutting detail dies. So we're going to do this die with this adhesive and we'll get it done right now. So I have a piece of basic gray. This is what I'm going to die cut my happy birthday out of. So I'm going to die cut it like this. And on the back of my piece of basic gray, I'm going to put some of this adhesive. And so I had to start it already because you guys know how blind I am. I would never be able to do that on camera. So I'm just going to peel the backing piece off. That's the one that's printed. That's trash. And then I could have used a whole sheet, but I had some scraps and I thought, you know, let's just use up some scraps. So I'm just going to basically cover, whoops, that's stuck on my finger, the back side of this piece of cardstock with the adhesive, okay? So then I'm going to run it through the Big Shot, bring my Big Shot in, all right, and I'm going to just lay, um, put my die on my paper, I've got my precision base plate here with my platform, I'm just going to lay that on the edge, put my cutting pad on, and roll this through, okay? Take that off, and you can see on the back it's cut really well. Just pop the die off. I probably could have used my die brush, but it's not right here. I actually may have to go get it. Yep. All right, die brush here. Roll, roll, roll. Let's see if we can get this out. Yep. Boy, I should have just had it over here in the first place. All right. So we're going to get that off, move all this out of the way. All right. So here's what we have left. And so we're just going to peel off this adhesive backing. And check that out. Isn't that amazing? Now I have adhesive all over the whole thing. And it'll be really easy for me to use it. Okay, so I've got my basic gray one cut out. I'm going to set that over here on an ink pad so that I don't end up sticking something on top of it. Clean up my mess. And now I've got four other happy birthdays in all the colors of my card, and I'm going to glue all these together because I kind of thought it would look, I thought it might look kind of cool if I had all of these colors together stacked up. On the card. What do you think? Now we'll give it a shot. Okay, so I'm just going to lay my one of them on a silicone mat and then I'm going to carefully line these pieces of the die up. Lay them together. Just like so. How exciting. Okay, so I'm going to put the rest of these together and I'll be right back. I think that'll work. Press down. Okay, and now look at that. Look at the dimension on that. Isn't that cool? Plus you can see all the different colors underneath the happy birthday. Yay! All right. So I am going to add this piece to my little layer of basic gray. And my white layer measures, what is it? I'll have to get my ruler out because I can't remember. I was thinking of something else. All right. Get the ruler out here. I'm going to say it's three and a half, yep, three and a half by four and three quarters. Yep, three and a half by four and three quarters, and then my basic gray layer is just a hair larger than that. And I'm going to add this to a card base of Rich Razzleberry. But before I do that, I wanted to bring in a couple of our new ribbons. This is our mini chevron. Uh, this is new in the catalog, and we've got Bermuda Bay, Old Olive, and Crushed Curry um, as the three choices. And so I've got few strips here. Now I'm starting to think that I cut them. <laughs> Did I cut them long enough? Well, I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? 
Ooh, just barely. <laughs> Barb. Get some snail here. And then we'll just be able to wrap these to the front. I think they'll reach. I thought I'd put both colors on since I have both colors in the card. I thought that would look kind of cool. Oops, I need more snail adhesive. All right, is that even? Good Lord, old eyes. Just, I don't know. Okay. And then I have a piece of old olive also. And this one I'm thinking is too short and it's not going to work. Mm, maybe, maybe if I'm lucky, it will work. All right, fold that up. That one will fold up. All right, and I think that should hide the ribbon and the adhesive. Oh my goodness, yes, it did. But I'm actually going to put this on with dimensionals. So let me get some dimensionals out here. Five of them. Oops. Sometimes I can get these. That one was a bugger. If you press your nail into it, it'll kind of flip up the edge there and then you can peel it off, even if you have no nails, like Barb. Okay. Get that centered as best we can on there. I think that will work. And then the final thing I wanted to add was some of our new glitter enamel dots. And I'm not sure, can you guys see the sparkle that you get in these things? Oh my, it is amazing. We're gonna use some of the old olives and you can see I have a tiny little spot of Bermuda Bay ink there. Oops, well guess what? It's not gonna be there for long because we're just going to cover it up with some of these fancy things. I'm just going to throw a couple randomly here and there. How about like, so? oh no, that's too far away. I think I can pick it off. Oh, no, I can't. So that's where it's going to stay. Well, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed that. I really do like the way that that 3D with all those stacked uh, happy birthdays on there. That just looks really, really cool. Please subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Since the new catalog is live, um, right here is your subscribe button. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos when I get my big order in. Um, if you liked it, thumbs up. I love that. Questions or comments, please leave them below. I am happy to answer any questions. I try to respond to every comment that I get because I appreciate them so much. And as I always say, I hope you have a wonderful day.